According to a Hollywood crisis specialist, Britney Spears' damaging claims on her relationship with Justin Timberlake have left a smoking crater on his reputation and legacy. In her new biography The Woman in Me, the pop diva, 41, has been releasing shocking teasers. In them, she accuses 42-year-old Justin of cheating on her with a famous person during their three-year romance and says she aborted their child because he wasn't ready to be a parent. The shocking allegations have completely destroyed the storyline surrounding their breakup in 2002, when Britney was extensively demonized following rumors that she had cheated on the NSYNC singer. Reputation analyst Eric Schiffer now says Britney has painted her ex as a giant con who benefited from becoming a phony victim following their breakup. He exclusively told DailyMail.com, Britney's book lacerates Justin's legacy, and his nice guy image now appears like it was a giant con. This bombshell report leaves a smoking crater on his reputation and legacy, and the public hates inauthenticity. The PR specialist went on, considering the potential long-term effects this would have on Justin's career, saying, the backlash Justin faces has just started. Fans of Britney will likely become further enraged, and Justin supporters may even break their emotional ties to the singer. Insiders tell DailyMail.com that Justin is aware that his treatment of Britney Spears in the past could come back to haunt him, but he plans to remain silent. Though maintaining shtum could further harm the singer's reputation, Eric, the chairman of Reputation Management Consultants, has advised the singer to reply once the book is published on October 24. He cautioned, Justin's celebrity is gushing out, so he needs to respond after the book is released or risk damage to his brand and the momentum he's hoping to build. There are ways around this, but if he tries to deny it, he's playing with nuclear bombs driven by Britney Spears, so he better be real and not stray from the truth. Furthermore, according to Eric, Justin faces revealing himself as a shamelessly hypocritical prima donna celebrity for playing a phony victim of being cheated on after doing it himself. The sexy back singer is expected to face criticism in the candid memoir, as fans have already expressed their displeasure with Britney's admission that she chose to end her pregnancy after becoming pregnant in late 2000. It was a surprise, but for me, it wasn't a tragedy, she wrote in an excerpt that people was able to receive. I cherished Justin dearly. I've always thought that one day we'll have a family. All of this would merely happen much sooner than I'd thought. He claimed that we were far too young and not ready to have a child. I agreed not to have the baby, and I know people will despise me for it. The summer love singer and Britney, who had become international celebrities as teenage icons, had a highly publicized relationship that lasted from 1999 until 2002. Long before they formally began dating, the couple had initially connected on Disney's The All-New Mickey Mouse Club, where they also experienced their first kiss. While Britney ruled the music charts as a solo artist with hits like Baby One More Time and Oops, I Did It Again, Justin went on to become famous with the boy band InSync. The musician was blamed for their breakup after he used a doppelganger of Britney in his 2002 Cry Me a River music video. The couple had split due to rumors that Britney had been unfaithful. It's reported that Justin, who has previously expressed his support for a woman's freedom of choice, is aware that his earlier behavior may also come to light and is ready for his remarks about Britney to be uncovered. Eric gave Justin advice on how to proceed with his ongoing tasks, suggesting that he wait as long as possible to give the situation time to settle. Julian should postpone projects that he can work on for a month or two so that everything settles, he clarified. He must move on to a project that his supporters will adore. An InSync reunion tour might prevent him from becoming extremely popular. In the end, Eric emphasized that Justin would be better off taking full responsibility for his previous actions and not trying to avoid the possible reaction. The best course of action, according to Justin, is to own his truth, take responsibility for it, show off his growth, and concentrate on endeavors that his followers will find enjoyable. October 24th is when The Woman in Me and its audiobook will be available.